Hey guys, I'm here with Ben with Hyperfire. He's gonna go over and show us what's new. All right, so new for 20, uh, 2020 is gonna be our PDI system. It stands for power drop-in. So for a few years now, people have been using a drop-in trigger. And at first, we were a little bit hesitant because a lot of people use adjustment screws and shims. And we wanted our triggers to be built tough like all of the rest of them. So we finally came out with it. Um, the nice thing about this is it's fully drop-in, but it's also the customer can disassemble it themselves. Okay. So we didn't want to cause any issues there. If somebody needs new springs or something down the road, we can send it to them and they can do it themselves. They don't have to send it in to us. Awesome. We also want it to be as tough as all of the rest of our products, so it's still made in exactly the same way, same materials, same hyperfire quality that people have gotten used to. This new one's going to come in with a uh, two-pound pull. It's going to be nice, short, uh, pre-travel and reset. It's going to hit about 5% harder than a standard no-spec trigger, and it comes in multiple different coatings and trigger bow styles. So okay. these are going to uh, MSRP at about $180. Okay, so you said harder, so you're looking for steel case damage, what you're going to shoot for, for harder primers? Is so as, as, for? as far as all that goes, the uh, standard mil-spec hammers are usually pretty good, but as the springs start to wear out, um, they you can start getting light strikes. So okay. hitting a little bit harder than that, um, we haven't gone through full testing on the 762x39s and those harder case ammos yet, um, so I can't exactly say that. Um, however, it is going to last a lot longer. So our springs go through a proprietary process, um, which causes our springs to last about 30,000 rounds or more, versus uh, standard mil-spec replacements about 12 to 15,000 rounds. Okay. So are you going to be doing uh, caliber specific, or are you guys just going to run one and then as long as it's going to run fine, you guys are good with that? It's the same as all of our triggers, yep. Okay. So all of our triggers will work in anything, whether it's 40, 45, all the way up into the rifle calibers. We even have a lot of customers that use them for 6.5 Creedmoor and things okay, like that. Okay, awesome. So. Now these are going to be the same trigger shoes and everything like you kind of normally run. Is there anything different with that? Is no, that there's nothing different. The only new thing for this year is we have come out with our curve, curve shoe as well. Okay, very so cool. it matches up with the flat shoe. Awesome. Now, do you have tensioning screws when you drop these in? How is the whole? No, so there's no off? screws or shims in there. Right, that's so right. That's awesome. 100 percent drop in. We have a little uh, spring-loaded detent in the back, so with our HyperTouch series, we realized that we could rest our frames on the safety selector and not cause any issues. So now we've put a little ball detent in there. So once you get those pins in place, that ball detent causes some pressure and allows it to sit in, in place. Okay. And, and these will come with the anti-walk pins that we that we come out with awesome. for these triggers. Jeez, ow. That is light. Hey. Some barrels in 18 inch. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, sorry for the wind noise and people noise. Kind of hard to uh, keep it down with being in the show and out at the range. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you guys want to help out me and support the channel, uh, go down to the link. There's a link for my Patreon and then my website there. From there, you can go to other websites. Anything you purchase there helps out my channel. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I will be continuing to get video content over the entire show throughout the week. And I'll be posting it as soon as possible.